Today, we're going to talk about a common challenge for developers, how to use realistic data for testing without introducing security risks. This is especially relevant for generative AI applications, which often need to interact with user data. We'll explore how Google Cloud's Sensitive Data Protection, or SDP, can help de-identify data for development and protect it in production. Sensitive Data Protection is a service that finds and anonymizes sensitive data. It works in two main steps, detection and transformation. First is detection. SDP uses over 200 built-in classifiers called infotypes to identify data like credit card numbers, names, and addresses. You can also create custom infotypes for your specific data patterns. You can use this detection capability in two main ways. Discovery scans large data sets like cloud storage buckets or BigQuery tables to map where your sensitive data resides. Inspection is for real-time data, like an incoming API request or a file just uploaded. Second is transformation. Once STP finds sensitive data, it can transform it. You can redact it, replace it with a placeholder, mask parts of it, or use tokenization, which replaces the data with a consistent non-reversible token. This maintains data relationships without exposing the original information. Other options include bucketing for generalizing numbers or shifting dates. Now, let's see how this works in practice by creating a de-identified copy of data stored in a cloud storage bucket. The process has three main steps, creating an inspect template, creating a de-identification template, and running a job. First, we head over to the Google Cloud Console and navigate to sensitive data protection. We'll start by creating an inspect template. Here, you can select the built-in info types we want to detect, like email addresses and phone numbers. Next, we create a de-identification template. This tells STP what to do when it finds the sensitive data we defined. For example, we can set a rule to redact all found email addresses. Finally, we create and run a job. We select our input bucket, our new de-identification template, and specify an output bucket. STP then scans the files in the input bucket, applies our rules, and saves a sanitized version in the output bucket. The resulting file has the sensitive information removed, making it suitable for use in a development or testing environment. So how does this apply to generative AI? Many AI applications use user input or internal data, which might contain sensitive information. We can use STP to intercept and clean this data at several key points. First, we can scan user prompts before they are sent to the model. This prevents sensitive data from being processed or potentially logged by the language model itself. Second, before writing application logs, we can filter both the user's query and the model's response. This allows us to maintain useful logs for debugging without storing any personal data. And third, we can scan the model's output before it's displayed to the user. This acts as a final safeguard to ensure the model doesn't accidentally reveal any sensitive information it may have learned from its training data. For these types of real-time use cases, Google Cloud offers a product called Model Armor. It bundles STP's data detection capabilities with other security features like blocking prompt injection attacks and filtering for harmful content. Model Armor can also use the same de-identification templates we configured earlier. In the Model Armor settings, you can reference your existing STP template. This allows you to apply those same granular redaction and masking rules directly to the live traffic flowing through your AI application. I'll show a demo of that now. Here's a chat application integrated with Model Armor. When a user enters a credit card number, Model Armor uses our configured template to intercept and redact it, ensuring the sensitive data is not processed or locked. In summary, you can use sensitive data protection to de-identify data for test environments and use Model Armor to secure real-time interactions in your generative AI applications. Both services help you build applications that handle sensitive data correctly. Thanks for watching.